All right, we're doing a spectating a match between Mark and Malcolm. Uh, Mark is playing the Huns, and Malcolm is playing the Byzantians. How do you think this is going to go, James? No. Uh, yes. I'm interested. Interested to see. Mark will have the advantage of not having to build houses. This is very true. So, it'll be nice. And he's... Very, uh, very well versed in the hunts. All right, so I've got. I can't see Malcolm. I'm looking at Mark here. <laughs> Looks like he's putting his villas right onto, uh, onto wood. He's he throwing all of them on wood. Out with his scout. Can you see Malcolm? I can if I switch to. Uh, oh. Bottom left. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Or you can turn off. So. Mark's on wood. Malcolm's on wood. Malcolm's starting out with a early mill, getting those berries going. Yeah. Ooh, four, five, ooh, five houses. Six houses. Mark, it looks like he's going for the early wood rush strat. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's got his sheep up to the north there, northeast. Hmm. Hasn't taken advantage of them yet. Oh, now he's got them. Yeah, he only just no. found them, though. You, to, you gotta toggle between that fog of war, because we've never spectated, or at least I've never spectated a game before. <laughs> Same. Looks like Malcolm has only found oh. two of his sheep. Oh, sheep. Mark, hunting a boar, but so far away from his TC. Does Mark even know what he's doing? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Mark does know he's... what he's doing. <laughs> he's taking the boar, but it's very, very far out there. Yeah. Let's see if this pays off for him. Looks like Mark is sticking with just having a few villagers at the moment. He only has a little bit of food, that's true. I think he's just, as soon as he gets 50 food, he just builds another villager. He's trying to get that early resource production going. He's in that six right now. His scout is currently looking for, he's found his forward gold. Looks like there's forward stone. Sorry, he's got his primary stone in the back, his primary gold in the front, secondary stone up front. He's found his sheep. There's second sheep. Sorry, his other two sheep. Malcolm this has here. a villager just chilling out, not doing anything, wasting production time right here. Looks like he's got his secondary stone up to the front. To the side there. Um, pretty well protected. I'm gonna He's got a little lake back there too. Oh, what a yeah. relic! So that'll be nifty. See if he takes advantage of that. Yeah, seems like Malcolm's got two really good relic spots for him. One just north of his base a little bit. But uh, oh, yeah, I'm assuming right they they won't find the the other two very easily. They started yet? Yes, we're we're, we're commentating. <laughs> You're ruining the video, Riley. I'm back. I can't I'm believe you've done this. Malcolm has two, almost three, really easy to get relics in Mark. He yeah. doesn't have any. Yeah, I'm assuming that he's not going to find that one just south of his town center, because that's just buried in the trees. Ooh, and it looks like we're, yeah. Malcolm is going to find Mark's base here in just a little bit. Oh, he's coming up on him. Yeah, and Mark has yet to find his base. He's found his judging forward stuff. Oh, he, Malcolm's coming up on his base quickly. Let's find his primary gold. It looks like he's he's just outside of the TC's site. Though. Oh, and he's he just found the mill. the mill. Ooh. He now knows where Mark is. He's scouting up the mill, seeing how many how many villagers Mark's yeah. got on. Very but fortunately scared. for Mark, Mark has already killed and harvested all of his sheep, so we can't lose those. From an early scout attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very very good strategy from Mark here. We won't, we won't go there. Uh... <laughs> Looks like Mark's trying to send out a scout to see if he can find Malcolm's base. Like, Malcolm found his base. Just trying to probe out there. We'll see if He's Malcolm got... tries to go for the, the scout harass strat. Some people like to do that, but... Mark building his lumber camp quite a ways away from his TC. Ooh. Instead of opting to go back, he went to the side. 
maybe to hide it from the oncoming scout cavalry. Are they playing on turbo or fast? I didn't check. Or normal speed. Uh, I think they're on normal speed turbo. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, normal game speed. Oh. Okay. It's a little bit better for a 1v1 to have normal. Yeah. Mark is aging up. Mal Ooh, and it looks like Mark's good. about to find Malcolm's base here. Ooh, Malcolm is also aging up. Looks like Mark is just... He'll age up a second before Malcolm does. Ooh. Mark's very, looking very for his base, but there. he's... Oh, Mark has now found Malcolm's base. He's found his gold. <coughs> Way out there in the open, too. Looks like... He's just going around. I'm just toggling back and forth between Fog of War. Just to see what yeah. they see. Oh, no, this gold is in the back. Yeah, let's see. They're both... They're both pretty low on resources, or they don't have many of either resource, is what I'm trying to say. Mark has a little yeah. bit more food than Malcolm. I think Mark will be ready to castle much sooner than Malcolm will. Yeah. Malcolm's sitting at 12 villagers, Mark also at 12. So. Malcolm still has a few idle villagers, now just one, chilling out in his farms. He's gonna need to get that man to work. Ooh. I'm liking how many villagers Mark's got going on the the wood up north. He base. will not be lacking for wood, that is for sure. Yeah. He See, might he has... Mark Mark even might try to go for the elite skirmisher rush or just the normal skirmisher rush to get some early game harassment in there. Be good. It looks like Mark has uh, taken over two of Malcolm's sheep at the on the left of his base, but he hasn't done anything with them. Malcolm cannot see them; they're just out of his line of sight. Let's see. Malcolm has a pretty good gold position back here behind his base, easy to defend. It'll be yeah. hard for Mark to harass it, but. He has two openings to his base, which means... Oh, he's walling off the left side already. <clears throat> if he walls off the right, he'll be... Oh, he's walling off the right. Oh, there's it is. And he walled off the stone just inside, too. So he's got a nice defensive fortification. But Mark could go for the good old Onager strat to the upper forest, just north of Malcolm's base. There's a, a very small gap very between thin. here. Yeah. It looks like Malcolm's farms. Ooh, someone's getting attacked by a wolf. Ooh, that's two wolves. Oh, that village is going down. down. Oof. See, Mark was having that's that big hit. Mark lost a struggle or lost a villager to that struggle as well. Mark already walling off his only his only entrance. entrance. It is a little bit bigger entrance, but he only has one make it a little easier for him as long as he doesn't limit himself on room which he has quite a bit of space yeah i think he'll be good they both kept their stone inside their walls which is obviously a good strat for that yeah and it looks like mark accidentally blocked out his uh <laughs> scout <laughs> now the scout's just gonna have to roam around He's now blocked in between both bases. <laughs> this scout just can't do anything now. He's just gonna walk around. He's Nowhere to, to go. Second line of walls, immediately next to his first line. Ooh, that's not necessarily a good thing to do. Cause if he, if Malcolm gets some battering rams, he can hit both of them at the same time. Yeah. Too well for him. Usually Malcolm when you walling double off, wall, <laughs> walling off the back, uh, walling off the extra relic back there. Hmm. Relic, wellic. Well, wellic, wallic. Hmm. Looks like we got a very slow but interesting game on our hands here, James. 
there it is. Mark, building a market out to the front of the space. Maybe Mark is going to try to go for the uh, chop down the whole forest and sell all the wood off for gold strat. It, he has quite a bit of gold, or quite a bit of wood stocked up right now, whereas Malcolm does not have very much. Yes. However, Malcolm has taken advantage of his stone mine, whereas Mark has not. And if Malcolm can sell that off early, he'll get much more gold out of it than, Mal than Mark will. And it looks like Malcolm is building the first uh, military buildings here. Building that barracks and an archery range right up. What is the... Do you know what the Byzantine special unit is? Because I have no idea. If I remember correctly... Byzantines have the they have the cataphract, which is a uh, heavy armored cavalry, hmm. good versus infantry units. We'll see how that works out against Mark with his. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to make a rush with the. Probably go for the Tarkin rush. Yeah. yeah. Be my guess. Uh, is Malcolm going to make it? Through. Ooh, Malcolm almost lost that villager there to the wolf. And now he's able to finally build his upper wall. Yes, that'll protect yeah. him. The wolf was the ugly what? He was so ugly. Everyone died. died. The end. What the heck? <laughs> John, please. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Hmm. With five more farms around his mill now. Uh, Eleven in total. That'll help boost his food production. Yes. Malcolm. Malcolm is building a lot of houses. Get, getting ready for his military later on. That he is. He... That's where playing the Huns will give Mark very much of an advantage. However, Malcolm's still in the lead for the score. Yes. Not by much, though. Oh, now Mark has taken... Mark has now advanced to the castle age, taking over the number one spot. Malcolm has just started his research. He's at 20% at the moment. See how they're doing for resources. Looks like Malcolm's got a decent amount of food right now. Where Mark has a decent amount of gold. Because I'm pretty sure Mark just sold all of his wood for very high profit. Because he has like he no has, wood now. He also has quite a few people on uh, mining his forward gold. So yeah. Hopefully he'll get that. Get that cleaned out pretty quick and put him on to uh, move, maybe move him onto the stone up here. Yeah. Now, unfortunately for Mark, though, with his single defense point, uh, he doesn't have access to as many resources as Malcolm does for with his big area That's that true. he walled off. Because Malcolm has like four or five different gold resources that he can mine to get extra gold for more powerful troops. Where Mark only has three. Ooh, and Mark's building that university. Trying to get a few more upgrades. Has yet to build any military units, though. Or buildings. Malcolm has currently has seven archery. Or, uh, my apologies. Um, Archers. Arch yeah. Currently researching crossbows, so they'll be upgraded here very shortly. There they are. Yeah. It'll be interesting yeah, to see what he decides to do. He's getting that thumb ring research. So it looks like he's going for an archer. Archer strategy. No. Get off this start. Looks like Malcolm will have enough to build a castle here when he's ready. I know, okay. that is Mark. Sorry. 
But they both have enough stone yeah, for castle. Enough. Are they both in castle? Yeah. Yep, they both castled already. No, they d neither of them have built a castle yet. But Mark is probably gonna... Once he's done with this gold area, his gold, he's probably gonna try to mine all that stone so he can build more castles for more Tarkins. I'm assuming. I guess Malcolm going for all of the... All of the archery upgrades. It looks like he's planning yeah. to tackle Mark with some archers, which is a good strategy. If you can take out those Tark or the, the yes, the Tarkins before they can get, before they can even destroy his walls. Because the Tarkins do have a bonus versus buildings, which I, includes the walls, as far as I know. Oh, and it looks like Mark is going to clear out all of the stone right in front of his. Uh wall yep, he's got it all collected that'll I can move some move those miners back to his back yeah. stone now there. Can, he just destroyed his stone mine so he can have a little bit more space maybe he'll oh he's building this castle right in front door yeah, at the first castle being built here yeah Malcolm yeah. has not opted for a castle yet but just he is going for the monastery for though. that gold from the relics See, he has found one. Oh wait, Malcolm is building a castle. Malcolm has found two of the three relics near his base. So if he takes those, he'll have a nice, steady source of income for his. This archers. could be so... the the edge that he needs over Mark, with his powerful. Ah, uh, non Tarkins. There we go. Yeah. But Malcolm's Malcolm building his castle back instead of near the front. Yeah, Malcolm could have the problem though if his woodcutters cut too much wood, they might open up a hole in the wall that the Huns True. can get through. It looks like he's moved his woodcutters back to hopefully avoid that problem. Let's see, Malcolm. Let's check Mark. Ooh, Malcolm is sending out a monk to get his first relic. Mark is trying to get that stone further back into his back stone. Is that what it's called? His yeah. main stone. Yeah, his primary stone. Yeah. Course. He's trying to get that for another castle. Because Mark is, doesn't have too much stone right now, but he is advancing to the Imperial Age at the moment. Malcolm's finished his castle, and he's picked up the relic. He's not returning it yet. Oh, he's taking he's it back now. Not, he's not Oh, and what is this... Uh, Mark is sending out some villagers, maybe for a, a sneak around. Do you remember that uh, little hole over there? I think Mark found the, let's see, Mark's fog of war. Yeah. He, he realizes that that's a very small area of wood to cut through. So I think like Mark he's... is going to try to maybe do a sneaky strat here. He's Yeah, he's put up a TC in the back there, probably going to... Just build a bunch Hopefully of villagers and cut through. Boom a little bit and then cut through, yeah. Ooh. This is going to be very interesting now. <laughs> a nice twist is coming up. I was wondering if Mark was going to find that small... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Like, wood. The, it's the thinnest woods between the two areas. Yeah. <laughs> Malcolm is just slowly building up his crossbowmen at the moment. Oh, and it looks like Malcolm's now trying to advance to the Imperial Age. Oh, it looks like Malcolm is deciding to build a wall where Mark is going to cut through before he even understands it. what's going on there. How did he know? That might be a good idea. He might want to get that cavalry onto that wolf there before it takes out his... Oh, he's got it. He's got one guy left. That's good enough. He does... I wonder if he's going to try to go for that relic, though. Because he has... He does see it. 
Yeah, he's walled it outside of his base. Maybe he doesn't want it. <laughs> Who knows? Malcolm is now in the Imperial Age. Let's see how Mark is doing. See, it looks Marcus. like Mark is. Oh, my apologies. Go ahead. I was just rambling on. Go ahead. Doing research on. He's doing his researches for his horses now. It looks like. I'll help him. However, he just he did the research for the archer arm as well, which. Maybe he's going for cavalry archers as well. That may be. That may be a good choice. If he can chase down the Malcolm's crossbowmen before yeah. they can uh, take him out. And since this is a 1v1, they cannot get gold very easily. So Mark is going to have to sure. make sure he gets everything sorted out for his, his military. Because he does not have any relics. So he will not be generating gold like Malcolm is with his single relic so far. That's true. He may take the one out in the middle, though. Mid, uh, this is, mid this left. is a possibility. Ooh, it looks like Mark has built six stables in his forward base. Oh, wow. He is... He is getting ready for... Definitely prepared. <laughs> oh, Malcolm is sending out the... The monk towards that relic now. Oh, he has built a gate there. Malcolm loses a villager to wolves. These wolves have claimed so many villagers. Yeah. <laughs> on both sides. I think the uh, wolves are technically winning in score right now. <laughs> they have the most KD. Sure. Malcolm has picked up the relic. Deciding to not bring it back right away, though. Mark, leaving his stone miners, oh, gold miners, my apologies. Uh, leaving them, oh, now he's putting them on farms. It's all good. Mark is opting for more, uh, more foods for his horses. Gotta keep those horses fed. <laughs> It looks like Mark is trying to get this gold out in the, the middle section. Because Mark does not have a, a relic to... Or any relics to help him. And it looks like Malcolm is still not returning with that relic from his monk up north. See that? He's letting it just sit there. Which... But Malcolm is building two more castles. Oh, and Mark has started... Joining up his uh, Tarkins, producing them very fast up Ooh, here. This is, could get bad for Malcolm here in a bit. Malcolm However, does have some now. Arblas. Is that is it Arblas or Arbalus? I think it's Arbalus. I think it's Arbalus. Yeah. yeah. But he has uh, does have a small amount of Arbalus that should help him defend against these Tarkins, but Malcolm does not have the double wall like Mark does. Malcolm only has a single archery range producing units, but he does have three castles, almost. Two castles built, one more in the works. That's true. Mark, yeah, he's got the castle lead on Mark, which... But Mark does not have the, the gold production to just keep spamming Tarkins at him, so... He's going to have to just build up as much as he can and just do what he can with that. Because it doesn't look like they're really filling any of their armies with uh, skirmishers or halberds. Units that require no gold to me. Yeah. But Malcolm does have the three castles. I do not know what their special unit is. I didn't I haven't looked. Oh, but Malcolm is bringing back the monk with the second relic, which should produce him quite a bit of gold here. Byzantines have the uh, the cataphracts, the heavily armored cavalry. Oh, okay. 
which along with his arbalists can do quite a number on Mark's targets if he uses them effectively. Oh, and it looks like Mark or Malcolm is building some watchtowers outside of his gates that will probably. Mark has sent out a villa or a monk to get the middle relic there. Ooh. Mark is realizing that he's going to need more gold in order to support his army of Tarkins. Because Tarkins are very expensive. Very true. 60 gold apiece to produce. He is currently working on returning that monk. Looks like he did the faith research, too. So he hmm. might be planning to add some monks to his army here. Which could be well, talked to Malcolm and Mark, and they both say that they think it is going well for them. Little do they know I have dragon claws. <laughs> Malcolm is opting for the fourth castle. Ooh. Has a very nice defense over here. But he doesn't have them sprinkled through his base, so I'd, they... His base is going to be wiped out before they go to his castles. Yeah, if Mark opts to go to the right side, he's Malcolm's going to take a very heavy hit. Yeah. He has not much defense over there. He's got his long wall, but it's also spaced out so that Mark can get his. It is. He does have fortified wall walls now, wall. and Mark it cannot get fortified walls as the hunt. Mark is bringing his Tarkins back in, or no, he's trying, maybe he's trying to scout out the area a little bit more. Maybe he's trying to look for that other relic. Yeah, I, th I think he, yeah, he's working on getting more, more yeah. of this fog of war removed so that he can see. He's going to find that other relic though. Oh, there it is. Ooh, and Malcolm just barely missed the the other relic. Is this Malcolm? Sure. How many castles does Malcolm have? He has five castles. Five or four? Where I don't see his uh, fifth. The very south, very oh, southern there. area. Very strange place to have that. But he does have a lot of defense in the form of castles. It's true. However, all of his castles are towards the back. Yes. Now, if the Tarkins come through the northern gate, which has he's now has bombard towers, which can tear through. <laughs> oh yeah. Horses. Ooh, and Malcolm is now starting to make his heavy armored horses. Ah, there they are. Each Marcus one of these have 150 eight. health. Ooh, that could be pretty bad for for Mark here. Does he have? He does have the elite. However, Mark's Tarkins have 170 health. However, Mark is just the killer of forests up here with his forward base. He's just tearing down that forest. He's just got so many, so many villagers. Mark, it looks like Mark has the uh, the blacksmith research uh, uh, advantage over Malcolm right now because Malcolm's cataphracts have a thirteen have thirteen attack strength but only three two defense versus Mark's Tarkins 15. have four, fifteen attack and right. four eight defense. Has Which Malcolm be... even built a? No, he has built a blacksmith. He just hasn't gotten around to really doing much with it. But I wonder if Mark is trying to go for an attack here, maybe. Yeah, he's, he's moving his Tarkins in. Ooh, hitting Malcolm in his weak point too. Ooh, but and he Malcolm's does have all of this ar all of these arbalists here. However, he's pulling them back, it appears. Oh, maybe he doesn't he want Mark to see his arbalists. Wow, those those keeps have a huge line of sight. He was able to see Mark's attack coming in. Oh, and he can see Mark's relic. Monk, sorry, Monk carrying the relic. However, Ooh, Mark and it looks like the. Was... Oh, and the monk gets sniped with from the keep, dropping Ooh. the relic right in front of Malcolm. 
Oh, and Mark has found Malcolm's back relic. He's just out of Malcolm's line of sight, except I... Ooh. Oh, he's but just the, now the Tarkins are coming back over, and they're going to get bombarded here by the Arbalists. The Arbalists. He's going to lose a few here. Maybe. There, there, there goes a few. One, one died. And they all got hurt pretty bad, though. He's going to have to take them up to his monks. Let's see, looks like. Yeah, he's got a few, few injured in there. Not, not too many lot. Not, not a very big loss, however. No, but. Malcolm building a bombard tower there to defend that side. Good choice. But Malcolm did not lose any in that confrontation at all, and did damage his right. Mark's units. My apologies, Malcolm. Yes, Malcolm built the bombard tower, not Mark. Yeah. I don't think Mark can build bombard towers with his Civ. Ooh. I don't Looks like we have a confrontation at the gate here. Bombard towers are starting to work on these. First row of horses start to fall. But they are going to get through this gate here. Looks like Malcolm is trying to bring over his Arbalest to help protect this gate a little bit more. And Mark, Mark just can't get through this gate very easily. He's just... It's very it's a very small space that his Tarkins get, get in. The gate is about half HP, a little less than half HP, but he is losing men. And Malcolm is coming up here with the Arbalus. If he gets... Ooh, he's gonna get through the gate, it looks. He is, but... Not a thousand health, but he's Malcolm is coming up with process. his... Arbalus. I believe he should have pulled his Tarkins back and sent just a couple up at a time, so that... He has broken through, though. He has. But Malcolm's Arbalus have just shown up, and his Tarkins oh, are just sitting are. there getting picked off. He's riding in. Can he do enough? Ooh, they're clustered. Those Ooh, this isn't good. Do some work. It looks like Malcolm does have murder holes, so they can. Ooh. Oh, but Mark is coming in with the heavy Mark archers. A lot of. He's got heavy. Oh, but Malcolm. Here. Malcolm is building his heavy. He's got a second squad of uh, Tarkins back there, ready to roll in. Now would be a good time for Mark to bring those Tarkins around to the right side and take out that wall. Ooh, but Malcolm is coming in with his heavy cavalry. There's gonna be a big confrontation here. Those those heavy archers aren't gonna be able to last very long against the horses. They're very weak. They only have 80 HP. Very big confrontation here. Malcolm can see the edge of Mark's Tarkin. And Mark those wasn't able to take through. down those bombard towers, so they're just ripping through his units. He's gonna have to pull them back here. It looks like he's trying to bring them back out so he can bring his Tarkins in to help finish off those towers. Good call. <laughs> he's trying to bait him out. But those bombard towers and the, the keeps are still firing into all of Mark's units, and Malcolm still has his. All of, pretty much all of his arbalists are still here, so he should be able to unload into Mark's troops. Malcolm has a few more arbalists on the way to help defend, but Mark is still building a a lot of Tarkins here. And Malcolm is running low on money here. This could be. Pretty bad for Malcolm. He might need to start trying to build some very cheap units in order to help out here. Looks like Malcolm has lost the majority of his cataphracts. He's got arbalists there, but oh, Mar these Mark's targets are just so tanky. Through. Mark looks he's like he's just trying to... Ignoring the arbalists. Looks like he's going for the castle. If he's going to Malcolm take out that... still trying to build more units. He's currently producing three archery ranges up there. See if he can get them up fast enough to, uh, to combat back against the Tarkins. It looks like these forward Tarkins aren't going to be enough to break through and destroy the first castle, but he does have more more Tarkins and more heavy archers on the way. Mm -hmm. 
Mark might but Mark consider has... leaving. Oh, go ahead. Mark is still not taken out these bombard towers yet, which have been just tearing through his units. It's true. You might want to consider bringing the majority of his Tarkins in and then leaving two or three behind to take out the towers. Because currently he's just getting he's getting devastated by them. Oh, and he takes one out. There's one keep. Oh, he's got them both down. All this left. Oh, are the and Malcolm keys. is bringing in what units he has right now, but he's running very low on gold. See how Mark is. Mark and Malcolm both have a very small amount of gold, but Mark does have another squadron of Tarkins coming in. And I've noticed neither team has opted to build uh, halberdiers. halberdiers. Halberd Which is very strange for two factions that both use horses. Oh, this looks like it could be Mark. a very devastating blow for Malcolm because Mark is bringing in a full squadron of fully full health Tarkins here. Malcolm's going to need to start making uh, more units here, but he doesn't seem like he's building... Oh, it looks like Malcolm just sold all of his wood for gold. Ooh, but it doesn't appear to be enough. He is... He only has 2,000 gold. gold. But he does seem to have... Oh, that was Mark. Mark that sold Oh, gold. yeah, Mark sold all this. <laughs> That's my bad. I was watching Malcolm when you said that, so I was yeah. trying to figure out... What Looks like Mark's going to be able to bring down this castle. Ooh. Doesn't seem yeah, like I'm Malcolm has here. enough gold to even produce enough troops here. There goes, down, there goes the first castle. Mark splits out among the other two. He's trying to bring down all of these castles here, and when these castles come down, this could be it for Malcolm. Doesn't look like he has enough resources or troops to even defend against this attack here. Oh, and here come a few more Tarkins. And Mark, building up even more Tarkins in the back there. Looks Ooh. like he's got about 40 or so that he's producing. Looks like this is going to be it for Malcolm, though, because I don't think he can yeah. come back from this. I think There's just too is... many, At too many point, Tarkins. Malcolm is going to have to pull off something very, very extreme to, He's uh, have to drop recover a nuke. from this. Those Tarkins are just so good against castles and buildings. Yeah. That advantage against castles and having the having the blacksmith upgrades or it is really helping them, them out here really helps them out because each one of these Tarkins have 15 oh, attack Mark. and they get like a bonus times or whatever against buildings he leaves the castle with a hundred or 550 hp though he doesn't take it out looks like he's just trying it to go for the, the base castle. and there goes the third third of four castles Sorry, third of five. Forget about Mount, five. And then, then there goes his market. Looks like... Oh, and then another squad of Tarkins comes in. This is this is it for Malcolm. It's just too much for him to handle. Because Mark is almost at his cap. He's only 70 units off. He has 230 total units on the map here. Malcolm sitting at 30 population. Looks like he... Majority of his population lies in woodcutters and farmers. And this may be the end for him. Mark opted Mark to take is, out the houses, though. Mark is just destroying everything Malcolm owns here. Taking that Soviet policy of scorched earth, getting, yeah. leaving nothing in his wake. It looked like Malcolm had a pretty solid defense going on there for a while, but maybe he could have. Built a few more bombard towers to defend against all the, the Tarkins, but it still probably wouldn't have been enough. I'd say probably the the only thing he really could have done is just made a bunch of cheap halberd units and just seen, seen if he could just produce enough of them to slow down Mark's drove of Tarkins. Yeah. I think producing, producing the halberds would have been... Um better idea than going for the cataphracts once he saw that Mark was making 
Is Tarkin's. Because Malcolm does have, have, have a lot of gold. wooden food. Yeah, he would have been able to produce. Especially if he had put up five or six bar barracks, he could have pumped those out quick enough to counter him. He could have just, just made a wall without. of halberds. Especially with this, with the tight choke points, he could have held them off very easily up there. And skirmishers are also very handy in those situations because they're the same with having yeah, some kind the of skirmishers against the ranged units, especially when they're trying to bring down the walls. Yeah, and especially against the cavalry archers would have halberds and skirmishers, the cheap units. Would have, could have turned the game around this game, surprisingly. But okay, there's the, they are the army fillers. They are. When you have no gold left, you just build those bad boys, and that's that's what you fill your army with. They do quite a good job too, I might say. In the olden like days, the spear was a very effective weapon. His TC goes down. His university's going down. He is down to 12 people. His final castle is going down here. He's got three... Looks like Mark three just has one Tarkin in the back. That's... killing all of his lumberjacks up north. Everything's kind of going downhill here for Malcolm. Seven, six, five. Oh, his units left are all cataphracts. Cataphracts. And one lumberjack in the back. Mark leaving the single lumberjack to him. <laughs> He's trying Going to figure out where that one lumberjack is. Destroy all. <laughs> Option. Malcolm is just... He's got... The one cataphract... Oh, he was just chilling out in the middle of uh, Mark's Tarkin army there. This is... This is it for Malcolm. He's at oh, one out of... Malcolm's one 30, bombard tower. He could bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, in this situation, it looks like Malcolm is toast. Yeah, I'm afraid he's... He has not found his one one villager, though. Uh-oh, spies Mark have been Mark bought spies. Oh. That last villager. <laughs> Where is uh, Malcolm going with this villager over here? Is he running it into the Tarkins? Looks as if he... The first line... The second line completely avoiding the, the villager... <laughs> Looks like Mark is just trying to surround this villager in Tarkin. <laughs> this looks like a very good strategy here. There's there's just no escape for this poor villager. He's setting up an execution. And it looks like the Tarkins are destroying the farms now. Nothing is safe. Giving his last villager an honorable death. Oh, oh and he's getting shot now. Oh, looks like he's trying not to kill him just yet. He only has 8 HP. 8 HP. Mark has not killed these yeah. houses over here. I'm very disappointed. Oh, and, oh, the and it looks like he's going to convert the the villager. And Malcolm fighting back with the one villager. Oh, and the oh. villager goes down. And that's it. Should lose here in just a second. There's no hope. There's nothing he can do now. Looks like the monks are coming to give Malcolm a proper burial. Or to steal the relics, one of the two. <laughs> wow, I did not pay attention to Mark's lumberjack camps up here. He has cleared out the forest here. It looks Who like needs a forest fire when you got Mark? <laughs> oh, and Malcolm creates one spearman to fight back. Oh, oh. Ah, that goes down. The Spearman strats come and try to here. He's just pumping out Spearman left and right here. It looks like Mark is going to have a tough time killing Malcolm now. Oh, but it looks like Malcolm has a zero population cap. He cannot build any units. Out of houses. <laughs> looks like this will be a problem here for Malcolm. Oof. Rough game. Both players did very well, though. And it's gone. They did. The early game, it could have been either person's game. Yeah, they didn't really do any harassment strats in the beginning. It's true. They kind of left. They left each other to their own devices. 
But then Mark made that forward base and was able to just pump Tarkins into yeah. his base. And Mark that went for the strategy of, of the just game, I believe. chop down the forest and sell it to the black market for gold. That's how he kept up his Tarkin army. That's true. Well, that was a very fun stat, yeah. very fun match. Let's see the. It's entertaining. All right, let's check out the stats here. Yeah. Mark obviously won for the score because he won the game. Yeah. Malcolm Mark. did, however, kill more units than Mark did. Impressive. Mark lost 252 units. Huh? He lost two <laughs> units to wolves. But Mark did oh, raise the Mal most buildings. Yeah, and Mark had the largest army as well. Yes. Malcolm had more units. Well, did he have more units? I don't remember. Is the largest army at, like, one time? Yeah, it's at, at the same point. Yeah, okay. Are they finished? Yep. Yep, the game just finished up. Malcolm did Mark have ever collect... 1,200 wood. Sorry. Go ahead. Malcolm collected... About a thousand more stone, and so he's able to make so many castles. Hmm. That's true. But Mark did beat Malcolm every single time to the New Ages, and that's probably what gave him a good advantage there. Yeah. Is the game over? Yep. Who won? That was a good match. Mark did.